Hello friends, in this particular video, we will try to understand the difference between the MPEG and JPEG that is nothing but comparison between MPEG and JPEG. So basically, we all know that for the compression purpose of an image and video, there are two popular techniques which have developed. The one is known as JPEG and the other is known as MPEG. JPEG stand for Joint Photographic Expert Group and MPEG stand for Motion Picture Expert Group. The JPEG is used for the picture compression indirectly the image compression and MPEG is used for the video compression. The JPEG is used for the image compression that is known as the picture compression and the sequence of images is nothing but development of video and for the purpose of the video compression or sequence of images compression we can use the technology which is nothing but the MPEG. So basic difference between JPEG and MPEG is for the image compression and for the video compression they are going to use. Now JPEG is typically achieves 10 as to 1 compression with a little perceptible loss in the image quality. The loss found in the JPEG is very low. The loss of the actual data present in the image is very low while the transmission or while the compression algorithm in the JPEG. But compression ratio in MPEG is 30 as to 1 for a general video using H.263 encoder and 50 as to 1 for a general video using H.264 or MPEG-4 technology. That means in the MPEG, the loss of the data is very high. So MPEG is known as the lossy compression technology and in the JPEG, yes, there is a loss of data, but it is very low. So, if we are going to observe the efficiency, then obviously the efficiency of the JPEG will be high as compared to that of the MPEG. Why? Because this is nothing but the lossless technology. We can say JPEG is nothing but the lossless technology. Why? Because loss is very low and MPEG is nothing but the lossy technology. So, while comparing the JPEG and MPEG, I can LS JPEG, lossless JPEG is giving us the high efficiency and this will be the biggest advantage of the JPEG while MPEG is nothing but what lossy compression algorithm sometimes this particular term that is the lossy compression algorithm is become advantageous while compressing the video but basically with the help of the part of the efficiency if we are going to compare then LSJPEG is much more useful than that of the MPEG. So here we can represent the compression ratio and its loss and we can understand how much amount of loss of the data while actual transmission of the data that means in the actual compression of your video with the help of JPEG and MPEG it can occur. The next step is file created with JPEG will be stored as .jpg. .jpg. Yes, we are going to store the pictures that means images captured via camera in the format of what .jpg or .jpg. While the file created with MPEG instead of JPEG here I have to write MPEG will be stored as .mpeg extension such as .mp4 or .mp3 dot mp4 is the extension used to store the videos that means the video compression we can use dot mp4 and dot mp3 is the file extension used to store the audio files so these are the ways to represent how we can store the jpeg file and mpeg file the visual impairments in jpeg are blur while in mpeg are blocking if we are going to compare JPEG and MPEG with the help of the quality of the output, then MPEG will provide us the high quality. Why? Because the visual impairments in the JPEG are blur, while in the MPEG they are going to block. 
Why we can say that MPEG will provide is the high quality because the visual impairments in the JPEG are blur and in MPEG they are completely going to block so that the high quality of the output can be achieved with the help of MPEG. The latency of JPEG is low as compared to MPEG. Now what it means by latency? It is a function that will represent latency is nothing but a function that represents number of data samples. So the number of data samples in JPEG are low as compared to MPEG. Why? Because JPEG input is itself very low as compared to MPEG. For JPEG, the operating file for HD image format is 60 MB per second to 125 MB per second. 60 to 125 this is nothing but what operating file for the hd image format while for the mpeg these are nothing but what 15 mb per second to 60 mb per second so here itself we can understand the difference between the compression and its ratio that for the hd image format how much amount of the database and how much amount of the transmission time you required so obviously mpeg is much more useful than that of the jpeg application of jpeg are mainly related with the photography yes why because jpeg is used to store image so with the image what is the application photography will be the application so the application of jpeg are mainly related with photography while the mpeg is creating a video and its conversion in dvds so with the help of mpeg what we can do we can create a video so the application is in terms of the video with the help of mpeg and its conversion into the dvds so where we can store it the one of the best option is nothing but what DVD. So in this way what we can analyze the applications are based on the basic requirement of the input on which we can operate that particular algorithm. So for JPEG the image is the necessary input format and photography will be the application for MPEG video is the basic necessary input format and storing it or the converting it into the DVDs will be the basic application. So these are nothing but what the comparison between the MPEG and JPEG. While comparing these two things, we can compare them with the help of their algorithm or the basic process also. So with the help of algorithm, that means with the help of block diagram, we can differ the MPEG and JPEG. Though the algorithm or the operating system for MPEG and JPEG compression are much more similar than also the actual operation types or the methods can be different for MPEG and JPEG because in the JPEG we have to operate all the operations on a single image while in the MPEG we have to operate all the operation on the multiple image or the sequence of the image. Also we have to detect the prediction motion that is the motion part and only that part we require to encode in the MPEG and so that somewhere the operation of the MPEG is different from that of the JPEG. How to process on an image to compress it, that part will be same in the operation. But how to find out the motion part in the MPEG compression, this part is completely different in the operating of the MPEG files. So these are nothing but what the basics of JPEG and MPEG, how they are similar with each other. This can be the also point of the comparison and the second one is how they are differ from each other in the form of the input methods, in the form of the algorithm or the operating methods and also in the form of the type of the data compression based on the lossy and lossless method. Thank you.